We might still have another chance. Salcedo on the turn. Goes for goal. That's a big moment for Eddie Salcedo. Now Felipe Coutinho. This is our chance. Out wide for Moussa Diaby. Has to score this. Oh, Moussa Diaby with a lovely finish. Slots it home with class. Last episode, we got the better of RB Leipzig in the Champions League round of 16. And that puts us in the quarterfinals. And well, it's time to find out who we'll be up against in the Champions League quarterfinals. We could be up against Manchester United, Dortmund, Atleti, Bayern Munich for that matter. Spurs as well, Liverpool, PSG, the amount of teams that are in there that are quality. It's crazy. So we're probably going to get a difficult draw, but it's time to find out who we'll be up against. And both legs, guys, will be played in today's episode. So our opponents in the quarterfinals are going to be... Oh my god, this is quite possibly the worst possible draw we could get. Bayern Munich, first leg away from home, second leg at San Siro. Oh, this is going to be tremendous, but here we go, Bayern Munich Champions League quarterfinals. In other news, last episode, we secured our spot in the Coppa Italia final. We'll be up against Roma, but this game will be after a fair few episodes because it's one of the final games of the season. Also in the Serie A, we're still competing at the very top with Juve. We're just waiting to pounce on the opportunity when Juventus drop points. Today's episode, the entire focus is going to be on the Champions League. It's going to be absolutely incredible, and I'm hoping with a bit of luck, we may have enough in the tank to knock out Bayern and make it to the Champions League semi-finals. Let's hope we can pull it off. If you're enjoying this inter-career mode series, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, subscribe if you are new around here, and well, let's kick things off. Press conference to kick off the episode. Do you regret buying Strakosha because he's not been that crucial? I'm not entirely sure where I stand on this one. I think Strakosha is still a fantastic signing. He's already gone up in his overall, but he's not making those clutch saves like Handanovic made. But then again, it's only early days with Strakosha. We're just going to have to be patient. His overall means that he's bound to succeed at this club, man. 87 rated. Let's hope Strakosha can, you know, step up and make some big saves towards the remainder of this season. Next up, have you noticed Salcedo's growth? When you recalled him last season, he was 69 rated and now he is 78. Well, not 78, he is 79 rated, absolutely. His growth has been one of the, you know, plus points of this series, one of the more fantastic stories. With injuries to Lautaro and Lukaku constantly happening, Eddie Salcedo has been so reliable for me in this series and his stats are brilliant as well for his age and for the opportunities we give him. He scored nine times this season. He's even scored in the Champions League for us and his stats just continue to get better and better. He's on 90 sprint speed at the moment, guys. And I wouldn't be surprised, come end of season or towards the final stretch of games, he may become one of our starting options because he is scoring at a very good rate in these last few episodes. So I'm so happy Salcedo has, you know, just become so, so important for the team right now, even as a backup player or even as a first team player. So he's been one of the phenomenal stories of this series. Next up, when is the World Cup going to happen with Brazil? So, well, the World Cup 2022 will start after we're done with this season with Inter Milan because that's when the World Cup begins. So you're going to have to wait until we wrap up this season for the Brazil career mode to begin on the channel. You guys will find out when that happens because I'll upload a Brazil career mode EP1 video on the channel soon and we'll get underway with the World Cup and all that sort of stuff. So should be awesome. Until then, the focus is on Inter. And well, let's end the press conference and move on. I don't know why, but I always like seeing my defenders win Player of the Episode awards because it feels like they are so undervalued in any of my career modes. And it's good to see Pau Torres get some recognition. He was superb in the last episode defensively and picks up a worthy Player of the Episode award. Now, as you know, last episode, we had a brief discussion about starting a new career mode and it's going to be a Premier League team. I haven't decided much, but it's going to happen soon once we've wrapped up the Inter Milan series. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be the last season with Inter or not. It kind of depends on what we win this season. But the next career mode we're doing is going to be in the Prem and with a smaller team. So I cannot wait for that. But as I said for now, the focus is on Inter. The focus is on those Bayern games. Season goals wise, um, I just don't even want to look at these because we've done so bad without objectives. To be fair, we can complete the Messi and the Handanovic objective. But apart from that, 
it's looking pretty dreadful but let's hope we can get at least a few objectives done this season now as i said boys this episode the entire focus is going to be on the champions league so what we're going to do is we'll play the both bayern games away and home and we'll simulate these Serie A games thankfully they're home games and hopefully we can win them so it's all about winning the Champions League now for me but we're gonna have to get through Bayern somehow simulating this one against Sampdoria to start the episode gonna have to use the second team because we've got Bayern coming up in a couple of days I'm still hoping we can get a win here and we just about can we had to bring on some of the big boys for this one but we've got it done 3-2 against Sampdoria Juve are showing no signs of dropping points it's honestly so frustrating they've been just so good this season in the Serie A but the good news for us is that we play Juventus very soon, probably in the next episode. And this game is going to decide the Serie A title. It's basically going to be Messi versus Ronaldo for the Serie A title. How epic is that game going to be? Oh boy, for now though, I am absolutely scared for this one against Bayern. We know how good Bayern can be. The damage they can inflict with the quality they've got. This is going to be a tremendous affair. Away as well at the Allianz Arena. If we can even get a draw from this, I'll take that as a win because then at San Siro we may stand a chance because Bayern are just going to be unbelievable at home. <laughs> Hopefully we've got enough in the tank to pull this off. As expected, Bayern are absolutely killing it in the Bundesliga. They've just lost one game. That's making me even more scared. Oh my god. We're going with our first team with this one. Not messing about at all. Messi, Lukaku, Diaby, Hakimi, all of them in the lineup. Barella, Brozovic starts as well. As you know, De Vrij picked up an injury in the last episode, so Militao comes in for him. That's our team actually. I think I want Skriniar playing down the middle and Militao on the right. And I think that's how I'm going to run with things. Looking at Bayern, Lewandowski, Muller, Coleman, Sane. What even is that team? Chiellini playing right back is a bit suspect. And then Didi playing left back. Yo, what are Bayern doing with their fullbacks? Like, I've never been this confused. Like, they're literally throwing the game away with those fullback options. Maybe it works in game, I don't know, but... That's the Bayern team we're facing. Let's get it. Honestly, facing Bayern just reminds me of that humiliation Barcelona suffered as a Barca fan. It's honestly painful. But if we can beat them here, that'll be incredibly nice. But I, I'm, not, I'm not kidding, man. This is going to be one of the most difficult games of FIFA we play. Because with the way Bayern press, with the quality they've got down the wings, this is going to be a tremendous ask. The only hope I've got from this game is the fact that... Um, they're playing a few weird players at their fullback positions, and that's something I think we could really exploit. And let's hope we can do that as Coutinho skips past a challenge. Looking to maybe find Lukaku. The strength is there. Oh, Messi. The control is there from Messi. I think Messi was caught offside there. That first touch from Messi was lovely. Oh, look at that, boys. We've got a free kick in a fantastic position. Is this going to be the moment I actually score off a free kick? Against Manuel Neuer. I'm trying something different here. Messi. Oh, that's decent. And a big save coming from Manuel Neuer. How close could I get for scoring a free kick, man? That was that was a decent attempt, guys. Give me that at least. Manuel Neuer, just outrageous. He had to completely stretch to save that. Oh, he's gotten past me. They've committed a foul, but they're playing on. Leroy Sane now. Still Sane looks for the pass inside. We cannot let the ball get to Robert Lewandowski because then we'll be in all sorts of problems. Kimmich now. Brozovic with a good challenge. It's dangerous, man. Every time Bayern get a bit of possession in there in our own half, it's it's honestly scary as Musa Diaby on the breakthrough. And there's Chiellini's lack of pace causing them problems, but Diaby couldn't keep his shot on target. There are spaces for us to exploit, that's for sure. The lack of pace on Chiellini is evident. Oh, Brozovic has absolutely turned Joshua Kimmich there. I thought Kimmich was going to go for a sliding challenge, but he doesn't. And Brozovic now fires this one for Messi. And he's making a good run into the box as well. Still, Brozovic does well. Tries to put it in for Romelu Lukaku. Oh, that's brilliant football as Inter Milan have somehow taken the lead against Bayern. The play there, the combined play between Messi, Brozovic and in the end Lukaku was simply sensational. I don't know how Brozovic managed to find Lukaku there. The cross was a very weird one, but it worked. Messi to Brozovic, who had the strength to hold off his man, just slightly scoops the ball and it fell perfectly for Romelu Lukaku, who was opportunistic in the box, got the head of, head of Manuel Neuer and then the finish was superb from him as the Belgian puts us 1-0 up against Bayern. That's what you like to see and keep in mind, we're playing at the Allianz Arena. This is away from home. It's a massive goal for us in the Champions League. Come on, Lukaku scores his third in the Champions League. 
Inside for Musa Diaby. Can he get there first, please, Diaby? Ah, Koulibaly read that. I'm trying to get that second goal because against Bayern, you don't want to take any chances. The bigger advantage that we can have, the better it will be. Chiellini. That's a good ball in for Robert Lewandowski. Strakosha. Outrageous. Oh my god, it's it's funny how we were just criticizing Strakosha earlier on in the episode. For him to full, pull off a save like that, that is simply sensational. One of the best saves you'll see in career mode. Strakosha giving us that 1-0 lead so far, or keeping it that way. Big moment for him in his Inter career. On the big stage as well. Unbelievable save right there from Strakosha as he punches the ball away. But this time, not really a good clearance. Goretzka with a chance to do something. Brozovic is there, right place, right time to win that. And with that, the first half comes to a conclusion. It's gone all according to plan. We're leading 1-0. Let's keep pushing in the second half. I think we can get a point. Not a point. I mean, we can get a good result here away from home. And that advantage at San Siro will be clutch. Robert Lewandowski. Now Muller. We can't let them shoot. That's Eden Militao at his best. Oh, but come on, Brozo. You can't be giving the ball away like that. But he wins it back. Makes amends for his mistake. An unbelievable performance in this episode, guys. From, of course, um, Brozovic. As that's a bad foul on Coutinho. But the ref's not giving a card. How has Bayern avoided getting a single yellow card in this game, man? Honestly. As Coutinho is on the ball. I'm waiting for that run from Musa Diaby. But Chiellini intercepts that Goretzka and this is Robert Lewandowski on the ball the danger man should have probably scored in that first half Sane now and Brozovic wins that again he's been just simply sensational boys in this one now Coutinho of course I'm going to spread this out wide for Musa Diaby I see a lot of runners in the box I want to try and find this one for Lukaku Lukaku oh my god what a finish Romelu Lukaku Two first touch goals from him and two absolutely beautiful goals and this one was even better the cross in from Diaby was perfect and Lukaku with a sensational finish on the volley beating Manuel Neuer at his near post. What is going on? We're leading 2-0 against Bayern in the first leg itself. This is one of the best results I think we could have hoped for. The game is yet to finish but this is simply sensational boys. We're leading 2-0 against Bayern and it's been an inspiring performance from Romelu Lukaku. I have no idea how we're pulling this off. Bayern know they absolutely need to score in this game. Sane looks inside for Muller. Sane again. Bayern just slowly building up. Ndidi looking for a cross. I just can't get the ball off them now. They've really stepped up their game. Ndidi again. But ball in for Lewandowski whose header is not going to do any damage. Strakosha with as simple as it gets. Oh my god they've opened up my defense here. It's Kingsley Coman versus Strakosha. And Strakosha wins the battle again. Bayern should have scored twice in this game. But two times we've seen Strakosha have big big moments in this tie. Simply sensational from the Albanian keeper. I'm never criticizing him again. That pass for Barella was superb. Who tries to scoop Manuel Neuer. I saw that as the only option. But Neuer wasn't biting Barella for that one. He didn't push forward. And it's still 2 0 loss. So I'm happy. I'm not going to complain. We just got to avoid Bayern scoring in the remainder of this game. And then I think we're sorted for San Siro. Come on, let's make it happen. But Lewandowski on the ball just gives me anxiety. Indeed. Joshua Kimmich, oh, I've moved players out of position, now it's Goretzka, in a bit of open space, still Leon Goretzka, could go for goalie, I'm going to put the challenge in, I missed that, still Goretzka, you're, what am I doing defensively, Strakosha with yet another big save, that's three monumental saves he's made in this game, seriously man, I think we've got our money's worth from this game itself, it's a corner though and Kimmich puts this one for Robert Lewandowski, uh, we just had to make that one mistake. Who on earth was marking Lewandowski for that one? We've given Bayern a bit of a lifeline for that second leg now. Which is something I did not want. But oh well, it's still Bayern. Of course Lewandowski was bound to score against us. 2-1. The advantage is still with us. Hopefully we don't concede another. 2-1 against Bayern Munich. And against all odds, we've walked away with a big advantage at San Siro, 2-1 in Allianz Arena is tremendous and it's all thanks to this man, Romelu Lukaku. His finishing was something special tonight. I mean, that second volley that he took, oh my god, was it brilliant. Lukaku gets the better of Lewandowski, 2-1, a big advantage at San Siro for us. For now though, we're smashing this one out of the way against Udinese and I'm expecting a win here as well and we do get that win. Good to see Perisic score, it's been a while. Coutinho on target as well, Salcedo scoring, awesome. 
and I'm glad the two games that we were supposed to simulate in this area we've got a win from both. A bit of good news guys, De Vrij has recovered from his injury, he's still not quite fit to play this upcoming game against Bayern but next episode he should be back which is awesome. Now it's time for the second leg against Bayern, I still cannot believe we are you know the team that have got a better chance of going through because a 2-1 result away from home is huge and somehow at San Siro if we can pull off the impossible we could knock out Bayern. Let's hope for that boys, let's freaking hope for that. I'm going for a slightly more defensive approach for this game and that's why Coutinho is on the bench and Ja Mario starts. You just want to crowd the midfield with runners because I feel like that could be key. Bayern have kind of moved players around and finally they're starting a right back in that right back position. Carvajal starts, they've got Lucas Hernandez starting, Muller playing at his old position down the right, Sane at Cam, Lewandowski starts and Didi finally playing down the middle. This looks more like a Bayern team. And that's got me worried. Here we go, boys. The big Champions League night for us has kicked off against Bayern at home at San Siro with all the fans watching. Remember, boys, we're leading 2-1, so Bayern need to score at least two goals to go through, if I'm not wrong, since we've got two away goals. We're in a fantastic position. Let's not make any silly mistakes, and let's make this advantage count and book our spot in the semi-finals of the Champions League this season. Oh, look at the strength of Lukaku, man. He is absolutely bullying this Bayern defence. Honestly, Lukaku has had a standout performance in this episode as he skips past a couple of challenges. Since when can Lukaku do that? Another dribble, tries to get the shot off but can't, but Lukaku is just abusing his strength against Bayern and it's working wonders for us. Honestly, I thought the difference maker for us against Bayern would be Messi, but so far I haven't really seen Messi do all that much and it's been Lukaku's pure power and presence of mind and, you know, his positioning that's won us the tie so far, so incredible, man. Didn't expect Lukaku, Lukaku to have such a big impact. Spreading it wide for Diaby, just playing it smart and we've just got to try and keep as much possession as possible. Diaby looking for that cross. I was trying to find Lukaku, but Koulibaly forced to clear it away anyways. We need to get as many crosses into Lukaku because he's bound to score at least one of them. And now it's Lucas Hernandez. Looks for Joshua Kimmich. Still Kimmich. Oh, he's done me there. He's done me there. Put a block in. No. Bayern Munich have made it two on an ag cricket, and this is where things could crumble for us. And we do not want that happening. It's 2-2. Bayern still need one more goal, so it's all up in the air now, but we've just given Joshua Kimmich so much space to exploit our defense, and he's done exactly that. It's game on against Bayern, but remember, we still have the advantage. We've got to not let our heads drop and be patient. Honestly, the difference it's made for Bayern having fullbacks in this game and not playing in Didi at left back and Chiellini at right back is massive, because Carvajal... And even Lucas Hernandez on the other side have been tremendous fullbacks in this game. And that's made a huge difference, guys. And that's why they're leading the game. Oh, that is a ball and a half for Hakimi who looks to find Messi. Does Messi have enough pace to get past this man? Messi with a good touch. Leo Messi against Manuel Neuer. Messi, oh my god. Leo Messi with a potential goal of the season contender. That is simply sensational from Messi. It's 1-1. One, one, and now the advantage is back in our favor. Just Bayern now need... Two more goals to go through. Unbelievable from Leo Messi. Oh my god, just opening up a bit of space then with that left foot, just unleashing a rocket of a shot. No hope for Manuel Neuer. Messi, take a bow because that is just simply sensational. Look at the curl on that. There is no stopping that. Top left corner, bang. Messi scores. He steps up in a Champions League knockout game for us. And it's 1-1 in this second leg. Let's freaking go, boys, right before halftime as well. Halftime, it's been a roller coaster of a half. Conceding that early goal to Kimmich just put a bit of doubt in my head, but we responded well with Messi. An outrageous goal from him. Second half, let's wrap things up. Okay, I've just realized that we're not that safe as I thought we were because if Bayern score another, we're going to extra time, man, and we do not want extra time, man. Not against Bayern, so yeah, not, we, we can't let Bayern score another goal regardless of whatever happens, so. We're not allowing that to happen. Good defending from Skriniar there. Oh, that's a tremendous ball for Kingsley Coman out of nowhere. How's he onside? And Moussa Diaby put in a crucial block there. I don't know how he even got there from being a left mid, but that's incredible running from Moussa Diaby. Saved us in that instance. This tie is heating up now, guys. I feel like anybody can go through. We've just got to prevent Bayern from scoring at any cost. 10 freaking minutes to go, boys. I can feel it. I can feel the Champions League semi-finals already. Come on. 
Although Bayern are on the attack right now and uh, I don't like this. Sane looks inside for Muller. It had to happen. It just had to happen. Three all. And in a way we've choked. Oh my god, it's Bayern. So yeah, we're probably going to go to extra time now by the looks of things. Incredible two games against Bayern. This, this second leg is going in Bayern's favour but... We're playing at home, we've got the home crowd advantage, we need to score the next goal. Otherwise, if Bayern score, we need to score two, and that's that's not a good place to be in. You know what, guys? I think I was very conservative in starting Ja Mario. I'm going to bring on Felipe Coutinho for the rest of the game. Maybe a bit of flair is what we need. Wait a minute, guys. Bayern have gotten a red card. It's a second yellow for someone. What's happened, boys? We need to take a look at a replay here. Because I think Felipe Coutinho or someone just got taken out here. Yup, yup, that is awful from whoever was trying to win that battle and he's been sent off for that. So who's actually been sent off? I'm so confused right now. Let's quickly take a look. Is it Kimmich? No, it's Quarantine Torliso who's been sent off with a red card. Incredible. And now the tie is completely turned in our favor. This is our chance to knock out Bayern. They're a man down and this kind of reminds me of when Arturo Vidal committed with a silly challenge and got himself sent off against Madrid and then Madrid proceeded to win the tie. Kind of reminds me of that and let's make that happen now. Coutinho looks for Moussa Diaby. Messi's making a decent run into the box but Koulibaly gets there as they somehow survive. I think this game is still going to go to extra time but we'll still have the advantage. Okay boys, one last chance. It's Felipe Coutinho now. I need Messi to make a decent run. He's made literally the worst and most pointless run ever. And Barella though gets there. I was hoping for a penalty, but that didn't come. Hakimi now. Oh, a uh, penalty? Probably not, but Moussa Diaby's done brilliantly. Cut back inside for Felipe Coutinho in the 90th minute. Oh my god, against his former team as well. Things you love to see. Look at the time, guys. It's 90 plus 5 with only like one minute added on. I don't know how that's even happened, but it has happened. In the 90th minute, we've won the tie against Bayern Munich in the most dramatic way possible. What even is this game? Champions League quarterfinals has just been incredible. Coutinho scoring the winner. We've done it, boys. That should be it for the game. 100% that was the final kick of the night. Let's quickly see... Come on, Bayern, kickstart the game. It was the final kick of the night. We've knocked out Bayern Munich from the Champions League. Do all in the second leg. 4-3 on aggregate. And we've made it to the semi-finals. What a freaking night at San Siro. Honestly, boys, I think my voice is gone after that game. Because, my God, was it tremendous. From that messy screamer to, of course, a last-minute winner. Red card drama. This, this tie against Bayern had literally everything. It was sensational. And I'm so glad... We've made it to, of course, the Champions League semi-finals. I'll reveal the draw in the next episode, man. Can't wait for it. Well, guys, the drama continues for us even in the next episode because we play both Napoli and Juventus, a game that could potentially decide who wins Serie A, and that's the game against Juve. That'll be in the next episode, so... Yep, the drama never stops in this series. Player of the episode nominations, I just cannot look away from Romelu Lukaku. The performance he put in in that first leg against Bayern... Simply sensational. It has to be him. So, yeah, Romelu Lukaku for plate of the episode. Oh boy, that next episode, man. Oh, it's going to be tremendous. We've got Napoli, Juventus, probably the first leg in the Champions League semis. It's going to be a lot of fun and a lot at stake as well. So, if you're enjoying this Inter Milan series, I'd really appreciate it if you could spare a second and drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here and well, I'll catch you all next time.